was kind of prepared for it. We could uh, do the uh, Reconquista race and Steve could just be someone else. Uh, Reconquista? Yeah, Chris and I started a campaign like a while ago and we only played it twice where we are both two dudes in Iberia and we're racing to see who can uh, do the Reconquista first. I'd kind of like to do something that all three of us are more, like, equally involved in. How about Steve plays as, like, another yeah. North African dude and tries to take Iberia himself? I think there's many people yeah. in North Africa. A smaller at one. The I'd, rather, I'd, rather, I'd rather we started as, like, a, like, three nearby holidays. Yeah, that's why I suggested we do... But we'd all be low ranking. The, that's why I suggested we do three tribal pagans, because there's a lot of single county guys who are, like, right next to each other. Uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not big on the, the pagans, I think we should be cooperative. Personally. Uh, well, Indian, then. I'll load up the thing and one, we'll see. You don't really know what to expect entirely. Done a defensive pagan, which is kind of why I suggested this. How because about I'm sure we could find like a remover of a Finno Ugric guy pretty close to each other, Sumensko? How about we play as vassals under Carloman? Uh, not really feeling that. Hey. Yeah, I'm not, not quite. I'd be down. I'm, I'm down with one of the more like out there choices. I'd be good with India. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling more India. Uh, I like India. Bali, maybe even. Do we want to go really far south into Africa and do a totally different field? Like the, the Somalia area, you mean? But I'd say India, I'd say, not Somalia, but, well, Somalia would be cool too, but I was meaning, uh, Mali. I mean... Actually, either of those would be cool. Mali. Like, if we picked one of the small, the small guys in East Africa. Oh, you mean the Miaphysites? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I could be up with that. Well, let me take a look at it and see what would be good. Um, all right, hold on. I think there's a bunch of people. There's a, I think Molly starts pretty fractured in most, in most playthroughs. So we could grab one of those guys. Be hard because we'd essentially be forced to fight each other, since Molly can't really go anywhere. All right, I put the name of the server and the password in the Discord. So. All right, let's take a look. Now, there are a lot of small guys down there, like uh, Gondar, Gamot, but we would have to fight each other or something. Not necessarily. But then we'd be dividing up the everything very strangely. I don't see the game. Give it a second. Oh, I, I'm not a... Like, you sh the server should be up. Viking Age... No, still, you're gonna have to load all the way before... I guess so. Hmm. What's... What's Eastern Europe look like? At what point? The Charlemagne? Oh. Early Middle Ages, a lot of pagans, obviously. They're pretty, they're like three to four province, uh, province kind of dudes. What's India look like? Because I think India is pretty unified at this point. Not terribly. There are some large ones, but... And a couple smaller ones, but not a huge number. 
Hold on, let me actually bring up. Well, as soon as you're loaded, I guess I can look at the map, too. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at the map, I just, uh... Because the server's not ready. Alright, uh, let me just choose the rules, I guess, first. Do we want Aztec Invasion? Why not? Okay. Um, anything else? Let's see. Defensive packs off, because they're annoying. Better retreat on, I don't know. Uh. Alright, that's fine. I cannot... Could turn on Iron Man. I think. Do much for us. Uh, I mean, we Unless could we get... Could, yeah, could we get achievements in multiplayer? I don't know. I don't think so, but it says I can get Iron Man mode on. Turn it on. Why sure. Not? We'll see how that goes. Don't see your game, man. Hold on a second. All right, yeah, I mean, everything's ready. I just need to choose my guy. I should be able to find it now. And actually, I already selected the era, so I kind of... I'd have to back out if I want to change it at this point. Well, I see your server, so I'm yeah. coming in. All right, it's at Charlemagne. If you want to do this anytime I'm soon, we're going to have to do Charlemagne. I'm fine with that start, I think. We I could be vassals under Zunbil. That many vassals. Wait, so where are we going? We haven't decided yet. Are we going to India or? We haven't we decided India? yet. We haven't decided yet. We don't know yet. Ghana. We could be West Ghana African. Would be all right. Uh, but that wouldn't really be that great. No. Like See, one of them is a lot stronger than the good others. Good. to do India, we'd probably get pretty much immediately destroyed. We could be just like Western European guys and just kind of be cool with each other. Mm. Like some would be Charlemagne, another dude be uh, just India. Darius, another guy be like uh, Mercia or Asturias or something. We could grab North. You know, I think we should all be in the same. We should all be. Or, like what? I don't think we should be national leaders. I think we should be. We should each be lower nobility. We could also each play as a really powerful guy, really I far know, from like, each other, and just make huge empires separate from each other. See, I don't think it'd be as much fun. I think because the, the fun is going to come in from the interaction. That's why I think playing is like minor nobles of one of one single kingdom. Maybe a really shitty small kingdom where like hey, what if we were to, can still dominate it. What if we, we were to each over? be a con? In like in one of the Turkic hordes. We could do that. I've never actually played as one. I've only done a Kagan, but it might be interesting to be a con. Wanna try that, Steve? Yeah. Alright, um... Where do you wanna go? Turkestan? Go or... Uh, we've got Kazaria, we've got... It depends on the religion, really. Like, if we want... They're all Tengri, I think. No, they're not. Like, there's Tengri, there's Manichaean, there's Buddhist. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. I think, yeah. I think one of them's Zoroast. No, no. Okay, so Khazars or Tengri? I would want to be Tengri. They would give us more of a. Kian, that might be interesting. Kaimark is Tengri. What are the Zunis? Oh, wait, no, there is not a Buddhist. They are actually. Uh, there are Tengri and Manichaean. That's it. We could, I mean, but hypothetically, could become any religion, so. Well, I guess it's just where we want to start. Do we want to start? What? No, none of the Buddhists are hordes. Yeah, they are. They're feudal. Uh, 
Alan's are Tangri. It's a uh, yeah, Petchnig. We could go for the Magyars. Zarya. Uyar. I feel like I kind of want to try the Manichaean, dude. Yeah, I'm favoring the Uyghurs, too. No, there are actually only two. I mean, there, there's the Khan, yeah, there there's Kagan, and then there are the Khans under him. There's the Kyrgyz and Uyghur, and the Uyghurs are Manichaean. Kyrgyz is tiny, though. We might get eaten up. Which one are they? They're right next to the Uyghurs, in between Yugra and Yugur. That's yeah. I just can't actually see their name. I mean, uh, there's only one dude there. He doesn't even have any vassals. One that has okay. The the Uyghurs have two vassal cons. Yeah, I mean, they, they they change, right? Like, a dude is not always the Kagan? They don't have to be, yeah. Is that only by rebellion, or is it almost like a semi-democratic thing? I've actually never really played, looked into them that much. Children cannot inherit a Kagan. And upon succession, vassal cons can declare independence. Hmm. So that's more combative. Okay, it's looking like the only one with three cons is Kazaria. Okay. Yeah, I'm down with that. Hold on a second. Oh, you, you well, dropped. The surfers lost. Oh, I only lost. I only lost you. Looks like I'm gonna have to restart then. Alright, yeah, I guess we'll go with the Kazaria. I guess I'll let you know as soon as I'm back up. <gasps> yeah, so. I guess while I'm waiting, we could explain how hordes work to Steve. Alright, you do the best you can with that. Okay, so... Function really okay, different. Okay, so basically, I think I'm gonna be doing Crimea. What? I think I'm gonna be taking Crimea. So you want the dude that has... Uh... You want the Yabgumak? I'm gonna be him or Book. Bukal? Him or Bukal. Because the other guy who has the easiest difficulty, he's our, gonna be our leader. Just a third of the con. Okay, so Steve. Nomad, Nomad nations work a little differently. So they... They don't really have holdings. You can't hear me, right? I can hear you. You kind of cut out. Yeah. Okay, so, nomads don't have holdings. They only have one holding, which is their capital, which is mobile. You can move it to any land you occupy. Uh, for nomads, is better the... It has. Like, the what? less buildings. Do it one more time. A, a no county for nomads is better better the less there is built in it this is why they burn stuff to the ground yeah so hunt is grazing i'm, I'm yeah i mean yeah 
All right, then which one do you want, Chris? You want Bukal or uh, the Sartak? What are the coat of arms? One is like a fire with two yellow balls. Another one's a horse. I think I'll take the horse. Okay. Okay, so nomad armies function differently. They're a lot. They're more similar what to. What does Sartak live? Uh, they have. I can't choose them. So none of us are the leader of Kazaria. No. Yeah. Correct. All right. So the only succession laws, the nomadic succession law, in which the son or brother, other relatives such as nephews and uncles, cannot inherit, with most prestige, inherits. Other relatives are completely ineligible. Additionally, another clan chief con or Khan can inherit the Kagan title if his clan has significantly more population and or prestige. Thanks, Bear. So, yeah. So, I mean, we don't have to do Uyghur. Uh, I mean, we could do Uyghur, but just um, one of us purposefully doesn't do so well once we have another Khan. Or just, you know, do something like that. Or we could vie for being a Khan, a Kagan. I, I kind of would rather do Uyghur, because, you know... Well, I mean, I, that doesn't really matter. Uh, I'd prefer Uyghur. Would you guys prefer Kazaria still? Uh, I don't really care. What would you like to do, Steve? You have a preference? Okay, actually, there is one thing that I would, I'm going to say against Uyghur. Mm -hmm. The area of the map they started, it takes forever to travel from county to county. Alright. And we can only play on speed one, so... I still kind of want to try it out. Okay. If you really want to. Steve, are you there? Steve? Steve? Steve! Dun 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 If you're saying anything, I can't hear you. Or you stepped away from the computer and you did not tell us. Probably that. Thanks. Thanks, Steve. What a hero. Never really played a. Uh, it's been a long time since I played as a Mazdan guy. And last time I did it, I cheated a lot. <laughs> it was hard! Uh... Yeah, so one of one of the Euchre cons is much more powerful than everyone else. Huh. Akun? Yeah. That was kind of the guy I was leaning on, but Eve has a handicap since he hasn't played the game as much as we have. Yeah. User and the Kagan are pretty equal. Difficulty-wise, it's saying that the Kagan is easier, and that Akun is actually more difficult. Actually, is in the, in the middle of the other two. Uh, he's the same difficulty as the other Khan. It says the Kagan is actually... For me. Yeah, the Coggins. The... Hello? Hey. Oh. Hello? Hey. Did you drop for a minute? Can you hear me, Steve? Yeah, I had to. Uh, I talked to my dad for a second. Back in? Yeah. All right. Can you hear me? Yes. Where, Hello? Which... Can you hear me? Yeah. 
Steve? The deciding vote. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're debating whether we should do uh, Yuger or not, uh, because you could become a Kagan or uh, or lose the Kaganate uh, just by prestige. Like, if you have less prestige than the guys beneath you. Would you uh, like to do that? How do we keep having prestige? What? That could be tough. I mean, I don't mind one of us being the liege of the others. Uh, would you prefer to no, be Kazaria? Whoever has the most prestige. As long as it isn't... I don't want to be the liege right now, no. That's fine. I mean, there is one dude that's Wait, stronger than the rest of them. Why do you want me to be the liege? Can you hear me, dude? No, he's, no, he's not saying that you should be the liege. He's saying that yeah. one of us will be. Do you mind that? That one person is more powerful than the other. That's fine. No, I don't, I don't care about that. I No, no, I don't care about that at all. all right, would you prefer to be Kazaria, or I kind of want to try Uger? One buddy is going to... Where's Uger? Very far east. Yeah, it's the easternmost nation. Uger? Yeah. Oh, jeez. That could be... That's going to be interesting. The great Uger yes, Cognates. Would you prefer Kazaria? I didn't hear that at all. What do you say? No, I prefer Uger. That'd be way more out there. Than okay. Uger. Okay. You want to be you want to be the stronger yeah. one then? Yeah, let's go to Uger. All right. That was the guy. You pick Akin. Who is the stronger one? Akin. Akun. Akun. He's the one farther west. And then there is Uzer. You want to be the lead? Do you, do you want to be the Kagan, Chris? No, I think I'd rather be a Khan since I've already done a game where I was the Kagan. Okay. I'll be the guy in charge then. Yeah, I'm gonna grab Khan. Oh, no. I'm gonna be Kozel. Alright. You guys are oh, both God. beneath me. Yeah. And I'm the Kagan. Alright, ready? All right, let's fire it up. No idea how this is gonna go. Well, we start raising our hordes and then we march into the Terum Basin. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm doing, that's the only thing I can do. Hold on, I may have chosen the wrong guy. Uh, ready up or whatever so I can make sure that I'm the right guy it says it's loading game for me I'm waiting for players yeah it's loading the game oh boy we really are out. Out in the land. You're the right guy. Alright. Cool. Okay. Um, you sure? No, I think I'm the wrong guy. Yeah, I'm the wrong guy. Oh yeah, you picked the guy with the almost identical flag. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna design and have to uh, load it up again. An idiot. Or yeah, whatever. Starting the game? Yeah. Yeah. I chose the wrong guy because it wouldn't let me select the other dude. Okay. <laughs> I was just clicking on ones game. and I couldn't. For some reason, I couldn't select the right guy. All right, just a minute. We're Try it again. To start this game. the game. The game. <laughs> Sorry about We're that. We start our whole games now. Our I feel like we should be apologizing to your stream games. for all of our Damn. false starts. And Steve not saying that he leaves, and we're just saying, Steve, can the you hear me? Steve, are you right there? Now, right? Steve, hello. Steve, are you there? I can't hear you. Steve, are you there? Wait. 
Are you are you streaming right now? Yeah, I am. I always stream this. Well, no, I thought you were. I thought you'd pause the stream. No, he's paused the. He paused the recording. People are still watching you. Yeah, there's someone here. Yeah, they're watching us being idiots. That may or may Ooh. not be entertaining. It's chill. Whatever. Streams are most of the streams that I ever have open. I just have on as background stuff on my second monitor. Like I've got another, I've got another stream open right now of a dude playing Mario Party. My Game boy used pizza. Uh, no. On Steam, no. Crusader Kings. No! No! What? The background picture of my Steam library, it's currently the picture of the Aztec Joan of Arc. Nice. They got her and I did it. Alright, same server, same password. Do you want to, as long as we can choose right now, we could go for a different era. I'm kind of fine with this. Alright, this is the only time we can actually play as those guys as well. Yeah, Viking they're, they're Age, they're gone. Yeah, because the Yuger Khanate collapsed. As Kog Khanates tend to do. See if I could somehow get achievements. They were a big deal for a long time, though. Which is why I study them so much in my history school. I my wonderful American that. history education. Alright, I've chosen the right guy already. Everything's good. Oh, one of the interesting... ...interesting is that I read that modern-day Yugers aren't descended from those Yugers at all. Huh. In the same place. That's funny. I mean, yeah, it's like one dude is just playing CK2 right now as well. This is kind of just background. People uh, watch streams when they're going to sleep and stuff. Just there's white noise. I love having Donkey Kong Country 2 speedruns on in the background. Because I just love looking at that game. It's so beautiful. Through the king? Like all the yep, architecture, we will soon be burning down with our hordes. It'll be wonderful. So I've determined that our group name is officially going to be the Horse Republicans. <laughs> In fact, right now I'm going to change the name of the channel. We're not a mafia anymore, we are the Horse Republicans. Okay, Chris, you ready? Yep, I am Oog of Oozer. Alright, I am Kagan. Tengri Bogu of Uger. I love that Kog and Tengri is not Tengri. Yeah, most things that are Tengri aren't I actually Tengri. And Kozo of Akun. So, since we are the Horse Republicans, and I am clearly the leader, I am... I am... Um, I am Horse Mitch McConnell. <laughs> Upgrade from Turtle Mitch McConnell, also known as Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell. I'm trying to think of, I'm trying. I, I'm thinking of Republicans, that I'm not certain whether they're senators or or uh, house reps right now.
Rand Paul is a senator, right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, yeah, Steve, you will only have one holding, and that will be in your capital. All right, we're started up. Ah, uh, we're not on the Silk Road at all. All right, that's your job to go take it, though. You're down there. I know. All right, the dude to the west of us is 500 men. I have 500 myself. What the hell do I do? <laughs> you build a horde. Build a horde! Horse archers are great... people. They're the greatest people. Cap I have the best people. Cavalries are... Just straight up, cavalry is better for taking buildings. The light cavalry is kind of like a mix, and heavy cav, if you can get it, is the best for sieges. So I essentially just make retinue. Yeah, that's pretty much what we do. We make retinue, but they, we, they, they fill up much faster. Awesome. Man, Yo, we can have camels. Number. We can have camels, boys. Can we? Yeah. Uh, scroll to the very bottom. Camel cavalry. No, you can't, I can't. Woohoo! Suck it. Are you in a desert? Yeah, you're in a desert. So based on where your capital is, you can get special units. John's capital is a desert, so he can get Camel Cab, which is better than pretty much anything we can get. So I should build a lot of that. Oh, hell yeah. They're like the, they're one of the best things in the game. This is a song okay, as about as Egypt. Is, as soon as I take a Silk Road project, I can get myself camels. Okay, so Steve. Cavalry with your prestige, and you pay for horse archers with gold. Um, yeah. Okay. Now, how many... The size of your army is going to be determined by your manpower, which is determined by your max population. Oh, great. Please tell me that... You disconnected. Boss Steve. What do you mean disconnected? Ah. Uh... We start again. Hold on. Are you? Can you hear me? On? Yeah, I hear you. You disconnect. It says you disconnected from the game. Can't join the game in progress. Right? I just got server lost. The server was lost. The game will end. No. And you cannot join this. Are you sure you want to resign and return to the main menu? No, I don't. I... See if it'll let you join while we're in progress. That's bullshit. Like, a dude did it before. It won't. Why not? I mean, does it say why? Why? I haven't... It's not gonna... It didn't, didn't well, work try really. it. Try it first, okay? Can you say why? It just... Your server no longer shows up. No, uh, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Okay. Jeez. Of it ever converting, converting what? Yeah, so the buildings you can make in your build in your capital are also determined by where it is. Oh, hey, I'm in the desert, too. Why can't I build camels? That's weird. Like, you're certain you're looking at the right thing? Build camels. Like, it should, yeah. be, it should be at the very bottom. Oh, wait, no, I see him, yeah. There you go. Oh, it's not a full, it's not a full camel retinue. It's camel-like calf. I know that's still probably better. 
Camels are amazing. All right, I'm gonna step away for just a second. Yep, I don't see your server. Okay, try here. Try this, Steve. Shift tab. Now you see where it says friends. I shift tab. Okay, you see where you see the little friends thing. Click on the drop down menu by Cyrock yeah. Omega. To join game. No. <sighs> then you have the option. It's grayed out. It doesn't show up at all when you refresh a couple times just to make sure. No, it doesn't show up. It doesn't. I can read you all the names. We have Artaxerxes, Champson, Chimmy, Il Gooch, Nerd Knight, and As you, 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 O, O, U, U, U. Huh. Those ones are, uh... I can try it up again. Hey, could you, uh... Could you save this? Because I've done a couple things. Sure. That I'd like to not do again. Okay. I'm gonna... Alright, I'm gonna quit. Try it again. Yeah, Mr. Boy, for a second. Thrill. It's almost as if Ted is still with us today. I'm sure this is all horse Paul Paul Ryan's fault. Right, that's a rep oh, no. Yeah. 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 Oh, he's the house. Damn it. I'm stupid. Who is in the House of Representatives? Uh, like 400 people? I don't know any of them! I do know one. I, I know mine, so I guess that's important enough. Davis, right? Danny Davis, yeah. Okay, I'm back. Let's see. Yeah, we're reloading it, Steve, so it should pop up as soon as John's ready. Alright. Same password. Same name.
one day later. Ready when you are, my sweet boys. Okay, so Steve. Besides the nomadic capital, the only holding a nomad mm -hmm. can hold without penalty is a Silk Road trade post. In order to get one of those, you have to be on the Silk Road, which none of us are. So you need to do like that one death cab for your cutie song and burn it down. The ashes lay on the ground. That's all I know. Death Cab for Cutie is a band that I very much would have enjoyed, like, that it's, it's a band that I very much would enjoy in middle school, you know? And that's about it. Okay. Yeah, I know. I remember I listened to their uh that one album a lot, like I think it was middle school, maybe freshman year. If if I was a little bit younger, maybe I would have liked them more and in the future and for longer times. I like their anti Trump song. <laughs> That's one of those bands that I think is essentially one dude. I think he, he was done with Death Cab, but he's still doing Postal Service, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Possibly, maybe. Alright, we're all here now. Wants to be my religion. We're yeah, in the game. Alright, character focus. All right, who's a lovely lady that wants to be one of my wives? You only get one wife. We can take concubines. Potato, potato. Reminds me, I should be taking concubines. You would be good. There is three women in my court. One of them's past childbearing age. Yeah. You could take her if you want. Eh. I won't bother her. Any of you guys got any daughters? That would be good. We're at the point in the game where nobody has daughters. Dang. Alright, I guess a bunch of concubines then. I'd lose prestige otherwise. Manichaean Zoroastrian heresy. Manichaeanism is a Gnostic religion founded by the alleged prophet Mani, who has put to death who was put to death by the Sassanid Shahanshah Baharam the First, two seventy seven. His religion of light incorporated elements of Christianity, Zoroastrianism, Buddhism, and Gnosticism. The game, Manichaeanism is regarded as the Zoroastrian heresy. It has no formal head and no special game mechanics. Joy. What a magical religion. Hey, man. I don't have a chaplain. Neither do I. Neither do I. I am gonna build a spy network in Irobo. Okay. Alright, let's see then. Okay, try and find a chaplain. Yeah, there is no one that would join my court. Ever, anywhere, let alone someone of my religion. 
Oh, and apparently my martial skills too. Wow, we're really isolated up here. Yeah. It's almost as if this is Mongolia or something. Uh, oh, sure. couldn't be. I'm part of the Hermetic Society. Yo. Oh, no, I'm not, no, I'm not part of the Hermetic Society. And then one, <laughs> I can become a Satanist. The Kimmy Society can join. I'm not Do that and I will kill you. you. Probably, unless I'm a Satanist too, in that case, uh, yeah. That's smart enough for the Hermetic Society. Alright, so you want to have a capital that has the most holding slots, right? Yep. God, all my land is awful. I've got a fiver. That's a uh, yeah. Kongai. Nice, good where, for you. Where we do the conga. You could have worse land. All right, I've got 625 guys. Hey Steve, want to form a oh, lot like of? Oh, pretty nice actually. Urzhar. What's that? It's a thing that you can do that makes your relationship higher. Sure, I'll do a blow. Wow, how could that go wrong? You ran out of blood. Something call it blow. Where my son to my concubine? Oh, even better. Her. Cool. Yeah, now on the clan tab, we have a little green line between us. Cool, don't do anything rude. Why'd you pause it? Been paused. Hasn't started. What's in it for me, Steve? Oh, we haven't started it? No, yeah, we haven't started it. Oh, no, you want to marry me to her. It's a great deal. Will, yeah. this, will this cost me prestige? I don't know. Will it? Is she... No. I'm sure she has nothing but your best interest at heart. Hmm. Look, she has decent traits. Oh, yeah, that would give me five prestige. You know what? Sure. I'll send it back to you. All right, I'm gonna unpause it, if you're cool with that. All right, cool. Look at me, boys, I'm a married man. Yeah. All right, time on. Uh, it's taken so long from to move from one province to another, I regret everything. I told you. I'm kidding, I, it's, it's, I'll, so I'll we're deal all with part it. part of the Zoroastrian heresy. Yeah, we are. Hey Steve, wanna help me take a county? What's up? I call so dibs on guy, all of Otuken. Depends on the county. To try and grab the, I'm gonna try and attack the the Don Hong. What did I just call? What did I? What did I just? What did I just say? Did I not just say that I call all of Otuken? No one cares. All right, cool then. John, this is the only place oh, I can yeah, attack, and you really can't. What? Well, you can expand other directions. I cannot. No, I can expand in two places. Yeah, I can expand in one. 
that's that way. Which one are you? I'm the one right below you. Yeah, you can expand, you can take like two provinces. I can take the other two provinces. I never said I was, I was, didn't say I was going for Uting, I said Donghong. Well, Steve is the one going for Otakin. Why is he going for Otakin? Because he's dumb. I'm not going to Otakin. I'm not. You declared war for that. I'm not going for Otakin. You just asked if I wanted oh, I to didn't. join you in a war. I'm not at war with anybody. Someone sent me a yeah, request for war. And I'm pretty was, sure it was you, yeah, Steve. Coggin of Kyrgyz. Dude, it's the Coggin of Kyrgyz. The black dude. Oh, wait. The black shield. The west? Okay. Wait, yeah. I was... Wait, hold on a second. For some reason... What? Yeah, I didn't send you any requests. So what the hell was, was I just requested? Maybe you have an alliance with them. So, Steve, can you... Yeah, okay, they're being attacked by the- alright, gotcha. I think the two of us together can take Donhong. That was weird. Alright, I guess I might as well, like... So, could you move your line? We already are. Oh, he's a tributary of mine. Go so figure. can you move your dude... ...to... ...Ajbog? Yeah, you're- yeah. I didn't know I had tributaries. I don't think the game told me I had tributaries. Murder tributaries. Oh, this guy is a- this guy- a yeah, this guy's a tributary of mine. As is this other guy. How do I kill them? Best to leave them so they can send you money. So I literally cannot expand anywhere. Oh. Alright, dude. Oh, that's why I couldn't see the other guys' names. Oh. How do I break the tributary? They die. I guess you can plot to have him killed. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna do that. 14% chance. Hey, you send me an invite, I'll join. I got a war horse. Well, I'm not gonna be able to do anything for a very, very long time. I can still conquer people bordering my tributaries? What's up? Leave, so. Apparently I can. Subjugation and uh, invasion of Kumania and Perm. Hey, right, sorry, I thought that you sent me a request a immediately as I told you not to. Yeah, we're gonna go, but I'm gonna wait for you to get here since it takes so long to move in this area. Oh, it takes a long time? Yeah. Because the... The terrain is hard. Life is hard. Then you die. Okay. Yeah, I can do invasions of people. They can, they can decide. God, my income is pathetic. Yo, mine too. Yeah, that's what we got. Challenge. Yeah, point zero two. That's how much I make.
Okay, so let's divide it up this way. So, I will be essentially the northern con. Steve, you will be the central con. And Chris, you will be the southern con. So, okay. Chris, you will get... Um, I'm marching into the Terran Basin. Yeah, you will get Kotan. Steve, you can get... Um, hmm. Um, you can get Kuminia, I guess. I will have Perm. Actually, yeah, yeah, that's really the best way that it would work. You where he wants you to plan your wars for. I'm gonna be working all through Kumania. Steve will have a lot of guys. Actually, I don't even know if that would really work, because we're gonna get more Khan beneath us, I think. We don't necessarily have to, but yeah, you probably will. They're gonna want to have land, right? Yeah. So really, I guess contiguous doesn't really matter at all, does it? We're nomads. Yeah. So I mean, we we just have our land. So maybe we should just go like for. You call a duchy, and that's the one you get. Although, kingdoms are- well, kingdoms aren't- kingdoms are prestige, so those are very important. Yeah. Maybe and we can give them a couple- don't really matter. What? Titles don't really matter. No? I mean, they give- they will give you- prestige and stuff, but, you know, it doesn't, continuous land does not matter at all for nomads. Alright, so, I mean, just have, you should at least have, like, the, the majority. Have your auntie, right? What? Okay, hey, Steve, can you attach your guy to me? Let me see. So we should just divide them the titles up. How do I do that? What? Okay, so when you highlight, when you How highlight, do I attach your guy. Yeah, attach to my guy. It'll be the the chain. It's off the chain. No, unattach, you attach to John. As Steve, unattach, you attach to the wrong guy. That's the only one I can attach to. Oh, that's probably because the only one you're on. Okay, wait for John to move, I guess. My dude is moving. Sure. Okay, Steve? Set your guy, yeah, set your guy to march to an axi. Declaring the war now. We should be able yeah, to take. All right, so we uh, our lands don't need to be contiguous, but we should divide up the kingdoms approximately evenly, ideally, or at least don't get in someone else's way when they're going for one. Hey, it won't let me declare the war. Why not? We want to fight. Uh... Uh, I don't have enough prestige. Stop your march, we'll wait. I could declare and just give you the land. Can you? Uh, yeah, I could, uh, do invasion of Kotan or subject subordination of, uh, Boron. Be the whole thing. No, I'm looking for a Duanhong. The... A Duanhong? A Duanhong? Specifically, I wanted an Axie. Anxie, or whatever it is. What can you declare there, John? Against who? Dun Hong. Right, that guy, I Wait, can no, declare. That is subordination of Koron. I got subjugation, invasion, and subordination. You got it, though? I can't declare them, but. Nation War should be able to do it. Subjugation? 
only do that once in your lifetime. An invasion or a sub invasion? You have to have a certain you have to have a certain percentage of population. Like it has to be like seventy percent of your maximum or something. I uh, you have to have uh, the prestige. I'm about half. See which one you actually can declare. Or why not? Wait, yeah, you want me to play against him? Yeah, unless, yeah, because I'm, I have to wait till I get 250 more prestige and I only get five per month. Well, I mean, I can only do invasions once per lifetime, right? Uh,. No, invasion it has to be if your invasion if your population is large enough. Subjugation is only once per lifetime. Okay. Uh, Subordination you can do whenever if you have the prestige. Alright, subjugation Yeah, that's Okay, okay, I get you. Subjugation is just you get all of their land and they're your vassal. Alright, I guess we'll just do invasion. Uh, hold on. If successful, all occupied territory will be seized and all vassals will become your vassal. So, I cannot give you land that way. Oh, but you can transfer land to me from the... Legally? Like, yeah. I can do that? Yeah, that's how you divide up land. That's how you divide up normal land. No, no. That's how you divide up land amongst your cons. Alright. Uh, no, I don't have enough, uh, population... Can you do subordination? No, I don't have enough prestige. Okay. I, do, I cannot do subjugation either. All I can do is make him a tributary. That's yeah, same for me, so I guess we're waiting. I don't think Steve will be able to declare anything either, so... Let's see, what can I do? Alright, sorry about this. I, it's the first time ever actually playing as these guys. As a nomad. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. So we should try and divide up kingdom titles somewhat evenly. If possible. And it, they and we don't have to be contiguous or even we have that land. What? Yeah, we all do. It's the clan the clan is a It's a titular kingdom title. Yeah. Oh good but we can of course take other kingdom titles like i can make ugir prestige is important also how long can you uh, stick around steve Because it's a There's little past 10 hour. now. Another hour? Okay. Another hour? Yeah. yeah. My uncle is going to inherit. Or how about every man for himself as far as making kingdoms and duchies? If you want to make a pact, then we can agree on dividing something. Sound good? Sounds, uh, horde-like? I guess.
I send my spy master to Axie and build a spy network. I was pretty much okay with what you had when you directed each of us to take a specific kingdom, so... Or would you rather do it that way? It's up to you. What do you think, Steve? Regardless of what you pick, I am going to attack Dong Hong. That's fine. Your silence says you do not care. So... No, I'm working on my positions right now. So I'm thinking, I don't know, I kind of wanted to try to go for Anxi. I think collaborating on these attacks would be a good idea. Anxi, where's I that? I see myself playing more of a that's defensive what I'm, that's, right what I'm, that's what I'm gonna attack. Because I think going south, you have a lot of areas which are very safe. They're hard to attack. So if we can control... Uh, the area of the Basin. Don't hang. Everywhere from RC to Kotan. Right. If we can control that, it'll be very easy to defend. I mean, you let's go with take whatever provinces you want, but uh, kingdom titles we will hand out evenly. I can deal with that. So, and duchies are what essentially a free-for-all. So maybe, Chris, you will be able to make Roran, and Steve, you'll be able to make Kocho, which are all in Kotan, but we'll say that the kingdom of Kotan is for Chris. Sounds good? Yeah. We are a lawful horde. Right. Yeah. Although, I mean, do we still have a limit of vassals hating us if we have too many duchies? I have no idea. I can't remember. I don't think clans really care. Yeah, there's no way, because you, can, you can't have more than, like, how many uh, clans? Currently, you're at your, you're at your limit. Oh, yeah, so I guess there can be... Um... Max number of clans uh, is 1 plus 11 divided by 5. I guess it can be a lot more? Yeah, the... 12 clans. I can say I, I can have 12? Like, when I was playing as Kazaria, I had 12 vassal clans. Okay, so I'm guessing that the duchy thing still is kind of in play? Clans don't usually make duchy titles, so... Hmm. Well, I mean, it's a way of making prestige, so I don't see why not. Yeah, but it costs money, and... It's... Money is... Can be hard to get. Gotcha. So maybe don't make duchies until later. Oh, I guess I like Steve no, more. I like Chris more. No, that is what I was trying to. Do. I was looking at the faction and I clicked on the faction bag. Oh, by the way, the technology, now. the technology in your capital is not the technology of the province it is located in. Okay. You keep the same technology points 
so for the capital, wait, wait. no matter where it is. Dependent from the spread in the in the county it's in. All right. So that may that may not seem like a big deal, but post limits and stuff that can be a deciding factor. Yeah. So, uh, you can split your clan at the expense of population. The game will force you if I get too large. If you get too large. I don't think the game will force you. I think your clans will start complaining until you do it. I guess that's what he means. Right now, the Hagen heir is my uncle, followed by Steve, my brother-in-law. I'm looking around the map a little bit. West Francia is pretty large. Yep, Charlemagne's yeah. still in charge. Yeah, oh, he's large. got a rebellion, though. Good old Carl! King Carl! Oh. Bavaria is all around. Yeah. Who's this that's rebelling in Francia? Arnold, uh, the Octane guy. It is a an independence revolt.
Oh, I'm fat. <laughs> oh, and I, I have it. a son. Oh, hey. Hey, a vessel of yours, Chris, likes me more. Or I like him more. I don't have a vessel. Or, uh, no, that's your dude. You made, he made me like you more. Yeah, there's not much else I can do with him, except him, send him to make you like me more. Arsh! Don't make me blush. Why do you want to kill this dude? Steve? He's my rival. He gave me, he gave me the finger. Well then duel him. Rulership? You're a con. You don't rule. You I kill rule. people. I'm... Kill him like a man. Oh, okay. With Let's a short see. bow at 500 meters. In the back, maybe even. How do I, I, I don't have the option. All right, you go down like a war focus and kill him with a gun like oh, a real yeah, man. Cool. Yeah, to do that, you have to do the war focus. Is that in the game? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, you can, you'll have to switch to oh, war I'm focus, and you I'm duel in, him. I'm in rulership. Yeah, I know. Right. Why would you do this I thing? You are a con. Right You don't even need stewardship, apparently. Because it doesn't count as your domain. Land does not count towards your domain. As a dude in my chat is saying. What? He was confused. Did you repeat that, John? You don't even need stewardship uh, as a nomad. Because it doesn't really help your domain. Because your domain doesn't help you. Well, he thought he already did. What? Right now, what does stewardship really do? Uh, I believe stewardship has an effect on your income. Not much. Not much. I found out your income is so low, it doesn't really ma amount to much. Yeah, you probably want to switch to... What else would even be useful other than war? Hunting? Hunting would be good. Yeah. Um... Maybe family? If you really want more kids? Seduction wouldn't be I bad. Intrigue if you want to assassinate your rival, I guess. Yeah, more kids. Family or seduction would be nice. Otherwise... Hunting and war. I've already gained, like... Four martial points. Well, because of most of which are because of my war focus, but you get the point. I had really, really bad martial, but now it's pretty okay. Kind of. This is gonna be three years. I know. Three years. Just three uh, years keep it in mind years. when that comes up. Do whatever you want. I'm, I'm just joking with you when I say those silly things. I don't give a gosh darn if you do well. You should. Do you should join my join my plot. You should join my plot. How has this man wronged me? Why would you not fight like Look a man? Up, no good. You have nine marshal. Look at him. He has ten marshal. You're about even. Is he gonna duel someone? He's not. He's not, he's not worth it. He's not worth it to fight him. That is an oxymoron in the eyes oh, of a, a Turkic that? nomad. Not worth fighting. <laughs> that makes no sense.
So now you want to marry him to one of the girls in my court? Oh. No. It's all part of a big plot. Yeah, I see what your plot is. It's very good, but I noticed. You know. Wait, why did you want to... Wait, was that... Hold on. Did you need me to accept that? She's under you. Or did I accept it like an She's idiot? She's under you. She's under him, but he's under you. So yeah, you need my opinion. That you need me to approve it? Yes, oh. I believe it does. Yep. That's kind of weird. Oh, and no, no, don't kill that guy. He's my steward. Stewardship is very important, Steve. <laughs> you should know this. Oh, where did these wars come from? It's just a uh, defending against the whatever it is. Oh. It'll probably... I mean, uh, one of my tributaries is being attacked. So I actually decided to accept it this time. Like a not dumb person. I thought y you were... I thought one of you was saying they wanted to take one of the lands that I wanted. And instead of, you know, a thing. One of them is probably going to be over very soon since the, you know, 96%. Mm -hmm. Other one, we probably could win. If I can actually get over there in time, I may be able to get that battle. And I actually want to do something this campaign, so... I might attack these guys off in the west. Go ahead. Which one? The uh, Carlo Kid? The army of Oral Valia. You say that Can one I more time. Kamak. I don't think you Man. can because they're my tributary. Actually, you could, but I think I could defend them. To me. We're fighting a war against them. Oh yeah, that's because they are attacking another one of my tributaries. That's why I'm going over to fight them. Oh yeah, go fight them. Go get yourself some prestige. <laughs> What are your tributaries? There is the... Uh, there is... Otuken, Kyrgyz, and Kimek. Why am I not raiding people? Raid, raid. Come today. Kill again. Forever. Jeez, it takes a long time to travel to the land. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of land to travel. Don't worry. Once I make Rome my capital, 
I'll be moving around everywhere so quickly. Alright, so. Who wants Rome? Who wants Constantinople? Who wants Cairo? Or, or, or uh, Baghdad. Baghdad will also be good. And Paris. Those are fun cities. What? So all of those are fun cities. Yeah, I don't think we're really taking any of those. We'll get them eventually. It's just a matter of time. We are the mighty horde, ancestors of the Turks. We will dominate the steps, then head in and kill like everybody else and stuff. And there's also like the stuff on the Ganges River. Those are good. To be right back. Right after these messages, right after coming back with these messages. That's a little loud. Oops, sorry. No problem. Kind of peek the mic. Welcome back. What's everyone's favorite body of water along the Asia or within it? Mine is the Aral Sea because it's kind of dead. It is probably one of the most clearest examples of uh, human messing up environment. Take a look at that right now. Look at that sea, how it's all big and stuff. It's about one-eighth of its size now. Because, go figure, you shouldn't be growing cotton here, you know?
Oh yeah, Steve, by the way, you can raid people. I don't think I ever mentioned that. I'm going after her. How does raiding work? You toggle looters and move it into a neighboring county. You siege down stuff. Uh. Pretty simple. Can I raid your tributaries? Um, I think I'd rather you not, but I kind of don't care. I don't know. If you can, I'll see if I care. Oh, and, uh, certain buildings increase movement speed, at least in my capital. Yeah. Let's see, which one is that? It increases it by 2%. Oh, well, it adds up. Yeah. It's global movement contest. speed. Writing contest. That sounds great. Writing contest and meat preserver. Your horse breeder, which needs money. All right, we're about to get a battle. We're going to fight, boys. Oh boy! Oh! Uh -huh. I'm gonna kill a man with a sword bow on my horse! Uh -huh. No, he doesn't even have a right flank. Find out if I can raid John's tributaries. Oh, there's a, a little bit of loot I could take from here. <laughs> yeah, when it comes to raiding, John has an advantage in that he can raid any county that neighbors of ours, including his. Me and you, Steve, we can only loot ones that neighbor us. Ah, uh, okay. Viking God. What a great song. I'm actually losing money right now. Why? Oh, probably because my troops, huh? What? Nothing. Oh wow, I have a lot of territory. I have a good amount of territory. Yeah, you do. Here, take a look at, uh, if you go to players. Yeah, I know how much you control, which is pretty cool. 
Yeah, you've got five provinces. More than me. Yeah, that's why we told you you should take that one, Steve. I didn't realize they had that much. Which one? The one of men? Yeah. Well, I'll focus on uh, helping you guys out, expanding more so than expanding myself. You know. All right. So let's say let us each claim when it when it's like available, or uh, just which kingdoms we will go for making the titles of, so that we just don't step on each other's feet. No. Um. I'm going for Yugerstan. Kingdoms, I believe. I mean. Yeah. Kotan. Kotan. Change to Yugerstan if I make it, since I'm Yuger. Gotcha, so am I. I My kingdom is already Yuger. So, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure Mongolia is becomes Yuger and Kotan becomes Yugerstan. Mongolia sure. and Mongolia land? Pretty great, much. Great names. 10 out of 10. Make Throne of Skulls again. Yeah, that's just about the gist of the, uh, of the presidency. Hmm? That's just about the gist of the, of the presidency. What? Make Throne of Skulls again. Oh. Unless they're Russian, then they can have ours. Best friends. So yeah, I'm gonna claim Perm. Steve, if you and I want to race for Kumania, that's cool. I'd like Kumania, but I'm not going to call it right now. No, this is not the new DLC. It has not come out yet. How's it going, Bob, man? Yo, the war is won, or something. Or, uh, won that battle. That occupied that siege. Or something. I don't know. Let's grab the last little bit of that loot. Tiny bit. I don't think they've given a, a date for the when the new DLC is coming out yet. I'd wager a month or two. Three tops. Actually, no, I've said that before. Like, <laughs> I could be very wrong. Hmm. Huh. Apparently, I am, uh, obligating Chris to not be in a faction. I am in a faction? No, which is weird. Very good. Let's be friends.
So the new DLC, it seems kind of neat. I'm not really thrilled about it. I'll get it, but, you know, it doesn't seem huge. I'd much rather have DLC where you actually play in China. But if this does add stuff to do is India, though, which is kind of nice. I hope the new DLC will be good. It hasn't really grabbed my interest, though. We'll see what uh, what else they say about it. Really wish they'd actually make it so you can play in China. It's possible that I could still announce that, but I don't think it will, though. Why are you getting favors with my wife? Who, oh, Steve? Yeah. Why does Stevie do anything? Because he can? There's your answer. She help me a favor. And yeah, this will be this is apparently gonna be the last DLC for CK2. I think I'm I think I'm gonna pick up Reapers Due this time. Cool. It should be on sale pretty soon. Yeah. Pay twenty gold for my doctor to do something fancy. I don't think so. That's more than you make in a year. Yeah, I have 21 gold. I feel like it's going to be a while before they make CK3. Probably. At least, like, three years. It's like, how long has Victoria 2 been out? And they still haven't made Victoria 3. Gotta have been, like, five years? And they, they didn't even do the DLC stuff that they do nowadays. I'd really love it if they, like, their final dev diary is like, Yo, by the way, this includes China. Like, for real. You can be in China. Not just, you know, next to China. China adjacent. Yeah. Maybe they'll do little patches here and there. That's technically not DLC? Actually, no, it technically is. But it wouldn't be something you'd buy. But maybe they would change the map here and there. Until they're just done with the game. Or maybe not. Maybe they'll just be like, alright, we've done all that we 
are interested in doing. Like, it'd be cool if they made an like a grand strategy game specifically for China. I could dig that. Maybe through like a longer period as well. So long though. That'd take forever. Like maybe Probably. what? No, that'd be too large. That'd be insane there. Unless they do... Like... Like... Romance of Three Kingdoms period or something. Specifically, like... You play as... Late Han... Going into early Jin. Jin. Oh, yeah, I'm sure... I'm sure there's a mod for China, but how good is it? I haven't heard anything about it. They're starting to be done with the EU4 DLC as well. Or get it. Actually, maybe not. I feel like they've got a lot of things they still want to do in EU4. Alright, and apparently the the mod for. What is it? For uh, the, the China mod is only as China. Oh. Uh -huh. And there's an American, uh, an American continent mod as well. Eh. I don't know. I've never been huge on mods. I'm sure a lot of them are great, but I think there's a Game of Thrones one. Yeah, people swear by that one. Up and down. I'll need to give that a try one of these days. Now I actually know about Game of Thrones. I'll save Brindley and he will become king of Westeros! <laughs> you won't get stabbed in the back by the smoke monster from Lost. I really like Brindley. Brindley, right. That's... He certainly was the least terrible option other than Rob. And even Rob is... Lacking in sense in a number of ways. Like, you know. Yeah, I mean, they. Nothing else, anyone in chat. I'm o We're only like a third of the way through season three. I don't Rob think we're even a third. We're probably yeah. more like a fifth. Rob hasn't even died yet, so don't say that he's going to die. But I'm near positive he's going to die. Actually, no. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty positive he's going to die. Don't say how or when. Clear is going to die. Did you just sneeze, Steve? That was a very, very loud noise. Yeah. Rip headphone users. Wait, what was? You made a very loud noise. I didn't hear any noise. Did you sneeze? I didn't. I heard a loud. <laughs> oh. Huh. Yeah, no, I don't know. That was me. I need to get a really good diplomat, though. You? Who plays? Oh wow. This one lady has 26 diplomacy.
Nice. Yeah, that's my that's my uh, diplomat. Oh, you can make her. Uh, you can make women diplomats. Cool. I think she asked. Oh, that thing. Yeah. Well, she offered. That happened. Right. Right. I'm still surprised Jon Snow actually did something right in that last episode we watched. <laughs> Maybe he's getting to know less than nothing, Jon Snow. Uh, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Oh man, my uh, my my aunt died. <laughs> Got a daughter. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I can't raid your tributaries, John. Cool. Alright, I think I'm gonna... I think Yuger is the next best area. No? Hmm. Pretty bad land. Although I could get a lot of it. None of this land over here is very good. I'm just spoiled by my five province province. Holding province. What makes Kangai so good? It's like a plain, surrounded by desert? Yes. Shows up as like, tundra, or just snowy, severe winter, and it's still May. Alright, now it's thawed. But it's still severe winter. What a wonderful place to live. Now I, I can't imagine why these people would have wanted to come west and south. And why they would want to kill a lot of people. It's still severe winter? It's June. No, no, I, I'm, I'm just crazy. It's not right. But yeah, I'm looking at like... It's just saying... What the winter would be. Like, Are you I'm plotting looking... to kill the... You plotting to kill the dude, John? Which guy? What? One of your... Weren't you gonna plot to kill one of your tributaries? Nah. Not in that much of a hurry. Uh... I don't think I could anyway. I've only got like 18% plot power. Another guy could get 16. Another guy 17. Oh. Narin. Independent, apparently. What's independent? Narin. Oh. You gonna go for it? Uh, one province, I'd rather go for a lot more. I'd rather get, like, 
ball of perm that he has. I should move. No. I'm gonna move my guys over there. Then I'm gonna do it. Or I could declare war on both of them. That would work too. Subjugation oh, yeah. is no uh, invasion. Invasion, you need to have a high population. Yeah, subjugation, I can only do once in my lifetime. You, I am... you should be able to do multiple subordinations if they're tribal. Yeah, I mean, I think. Hmm. I can't actually do it uh, subordination. Uh, wow. Don't have high enough population. No. Part of it. Yeah, that's my problem. I mean, it's not even showing up as an option. I can do it against, like, Dunhuang, but I can't do it against Narim. Is it a can cult? Can you do it against Dun Dunhuang and... What? You declare war against Dunhuang and give that land to me? I can do subordination, and I also do not have a number of things, of the population thing still, but I mean, it at least appears as an option for me. Uh, it doesn't for... I can't declare it because I don't have high enough population, and I don't have, even if I was at my max, I wouldn't have high enough population. I think it's because it doesn't actually border my land directly. Probably. So maybe declare something for Nairim, and then you can declare something for Yugra? Do Invasion of Perm requires population. Subjugation I can do once in my lifetime. For... yeah. Yugra may be worth it. I could get four provinces. No, three provinces. And I could always just fabricate claims. No, I can't fabricate claims. You're nomad. Yeah. I don't have the option. I can improve clan sentiment. Yeah, that's... Uh... Yeah, I need money to make money. I want to attack Dunhong so I can make a trade post and get money, but I can't attack Dunhong without having enough money to buy a higher population. Uh, so I could do... Uh, the problems of a horde. I can do an invasion of Turkestan once I... I could do an invasion... I could do a conquest just for one province for some reason. Oh, I can... Pagans and nomads can conquer single border counties without specific reasons. I don't have option for a conquest. That's weird. I could only do it against this guy, too. Maybe I they think have it's... to have the same government type. Yeah, I think that is... I think that's why. So that's cool. If I had a bigger horde, I guess I could make all these people around me tributaries. That might help me get the money faster. I think I want to do... I could do subordination of a lot of the land in Karlukid. Uh, it's about prestige. I lose, like, all of it. And I think... 
I vassalize all titles held within that duchy. That's not that bad. I think because they're... I don't know what would happen then, because they're nomads. Have you died? Have you died, Steve? I think he died. I was gonna ask if he wanted yeah. to help me. Oh. I'm getting pretty. Yeah, it's past eleven now. Do you want to help me? Want to help me make all of these yeah. little Tokari bias tributaries? Steve? I'll be down in the next session. I think I'm gonna like go to go to sleep. So. All right. Oh. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm calling Turkestan. FYI, Steve. Actually, yeah, yeah, I'm calling Turkestan. Oh. I obligate the. All right, so uh, now this is kind of neat. It's slow, but it's uh, it's it's chill. I'm I got no problem with it. So yeah. uh, that'll be that then. Well, it's starting to speed up a little bit now. Oh, I don't know if we can because the Chris will desync again. We can try. All right, wanna, we'll do. We'll try it next time. So that'll be that. Now, I'll, uh... Well, let's, let's try it now, so it makes it be the last thing we do. Okay. Let's speed it up by one, and we'll see how that goes. Hey, Steve, I'm gonna declare war... Arabu, my tributary. You mind helping me with that? And I'm gonna go for the subordination Oh wait, of... no I can't. Can I do that you used to... for it? What about... Rago? I, I can make... Cor... I can make Koran my tributary. Rado's Wanna help me do that? Day. Exception? Sure. I was gonna go after Rago myself, so... Maybe. A prisoner arrived in my court. She's been in prison for three years. Is it good to have a balance between light cav and, and uh, the horse archers? Depends on what you're going for. Okay. How good are the heavy cav? Really good. But expensive? Yeah. Definitely keep that in mind. Alright, I'm gonna declare war for this. I'm gonna do the... Coordination. Doing it. Oh. What did you declare war for? Carlook? A bunch of land. Southwest. Oh, okay. Alright. Uh, cool. Are you in the war? I'm in your army commanding, but I'm, I'm not in, in your the war. war. Okay. You have to, you have to demand, pawns don't, you have to, uh, you have to ask us if we want to. Okay. Would you help? Not particularly interested, but there's not really anything else to do. Like, 
How badly do you need my help? Mm, maybe they outnumber me by like 130 guys. Steve, would you help? Take me a long time to get there anyway. I'm sending troops right now. Are you hostile? You know what? Them? No, he's not. You know what? I will help. Okay. To do. I will call you both. I'll just volunteer. All right, cool, thanks. Probably take long. Yo, I'm diligent. Over by the time I get there. Let's see if we can take it. Oh, I'm about to get their uh, capital occupied. Now, uh, could you attach to my troops? Or just start heading to the province where they have all those dudes. You head there. I want you to be there first because you have slightly more men. Please. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, this guy, whoever I conquer, would become a clan under me. I think there's only one guy we'd actually take. Yeah, it's looking like it's gonna be over before I get there. Yeah, we're kicking their butts. You're here for moral support. Pretty much. You've always been the best cheerleader. Uh, let's head... East. Fight the dudes that are retreating. The Rise of Shia. Good for them. Let's hope they stick. Oh, and you're lagging. Let's just go down to speed one for a little Look, bit. There's a revolt in the south. Yeah, there is. I don't think that's who we're fighting, though. No, it's not. They're revolting against Kiva. No, we're not fighting them. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. I think they're going to Ili. It's that province that's backed into the mountains there. I'm gonna head to Otrar. Each down their clan. Their con. Okay. If I ever actually get there. Steve, if you want to kill the guy that's southwest, that'd be cool, too. Or you could just keep coming with me. That is also fine. I'm going- I'm going to the guy who's southwest. Actually, I would- I actually would prefer that you come with me. Never mind. Yeah, I'm going after this, uh... Yeah, it's in mountains, and I don't like having... Uh, that close numbers when I'm attacking mountains. Actually, it's a little too late for that, though.
Mm. Alright, killing these guys. We're attacking the mountains, which is nasty, but we outnumber them by about 300 men. And Steve's coming to back yeah. you up. A month later, so it'll probably be over by then, but... In case I do lose, you can you can kill him easy. So in case you wanna have my fancy new emote, Sorwa or anyone else that's around, yo, I'm wrathful. That's awesome. Um, you can go ahead and throw down a uh, throw down a subscription if you wanna. I'm gonna go after this dude. Um, yeah, if if you guys wanna. Give it a little subscription, I mean, that'd be greatly appreciated. Oh, that's a nice, uh, nice kitty emote. There are some solid cat emotes on Twitch. Solid cats. All right, yeah, we're, um, why did we, eight, four. Probably because of that occupation. Have you already used the, the Twitch Prime description? Is that the one that you're, uh, you know what, uh, if you don't have money, if you don't, then that's, Totally cool. I'm not going to ask about any of that. I couldn't subscribe to people for a long time, and even now I've, I'm probably only going to be sticking to three. So do what is best for you. And I appreciate your viewership more than anyone subscribing. Don't... Don't end the war until I get a chance to raid this dude, because I need a bit of money. Righto. All right, so just say when. How do you, uh... Right the area. You uh, have a unit be in friendly territory, and there's a little button at the top of the window that shows up when you select a unit. It is the, cir the circular button that looks like an axe and a torch, or rather, it, it is grayed. Yeah, it, it should be like an axe and a torch or something that are crossed. Okay. All right, you're good. I got my money's worth from him. Cool. Glad to help. And enforcing demands. And it's all ours now. Flash. Yep, it is all mine. All of it. Except for... Well, I mean, that's the, the duchy that I took. He only has yeah. one other province. Right, I'm gonna have to fight the dude. You still hostile to him? Oh, because you're raiding. Yeah. Gotcha. And, uh, clans want more land. You guys want more land, apparently. Yeah. Well, I don't you want... Whatever. I'll take... I'll, I'll take Illy if you don't mind. I'll give you some land in a little bit. Uh, that will be fine. Now, these are actually much better provinces than the ones that you have. And by one, by much better, I mean... One more holding than two of your provinces. Yeah, so... Oh, let's just divide them up next time. Just to remind me then. I also have enough guys... Actually, I don't have enough guys. I just got enough population. Actually, I think I will need to give up a lot of the land. Because my population max is way above how much I have right now. Although I am getting a lot more per month.
So anyway, yeah, you, you want to call it here? Yeah, you're too... You're to the limit, so if you give... Okay. If you oh. give two of them to me, then we will all be equal in land. Alright, that sounds good. I'll give you Illy and Karluk. Alright. Let's see. Uh, I think I'd rather have Chewy. Yeah, I know you'd rather have Chewy, but I'd rather have Chewy. Fair. I was gonna say it's closer to the area I plan on taking. You'll be able to get down there. And it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be contiguous in any way. Just would be an easier jumping off point. You will find a way. And Illy will work. How does the vacation work? Uh, which one? How does the subjugation work? Subjugation. Subjugation. Uh, you can, uh, once in a lifetime, turn one of, like, an entire region that you, an entire realm that you attack into a vassal of yours, I believe. So that would be good to use uh, if you're strong and there is a large piece of, uh, a large neighbor that you want to get rid of. Or, uh, or, you know, a... Uh, Usurp, vassalize, you know, all that stuff. All right, you going for the tribute? Cool. Well, I'm gonna turn Urbo into a tributary. All right. I can dig it. I'm on my way. You want to do that right now, or uh, you said you were pretty tired? They're helping out. I think Chris can. I'm, oh, I yeah. have a second one. Uh, I'm going to try to take your bow. Wait, what? I'm definitely going to help you out, Steve. But in return, your blood brothers, I don't have a choice. Okay. Just like you won't have a choice when I attempt to make Koran and Donahong, my tributaries. That's how that goes. Koran? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. But I'm gonna take RC and Turtam, then. They'll take that area. I thought you were going to make up of a tributary, right? Oh, I am. I'm saying. Bro. Oh, you have to actually ask me to join your war, and I will. Actually, no, I can do this. Let's see. There. Okay, now nah, I'm on my way. Can settle down. Oh, my spy master owes me a favor. And apparently she's 44 years old and pregnant. That's impressive. Yeah. And for some reason, her husband is 18. Or rather, uh, she's a concubine of an 18 year old. Is robbing the cradle. Or maybe he's robbing the retirement home. Rip.
So apparently the son born to the 44 year old woman and the 18 year old man is strong. Hmm. Oh, good for him. Huh? He's already a better, as good of a marshal as some of my dudes that I have. Hmm. Baby has equivalent leading powers to grown men. <laughs> He's an inspirer. Nice. Oh yeah, that did wonders for my population, John. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, uh, Steve, what's your population max? Or, uh, yeah, yeah, what's your max? If you hover over population, it should tell you... Uh, about a little over 1,400. Okay. What's yours, Chris? A little over 1,300. Alright, so we're all pretty close. I'm at 18k. Yes, I have 14,000. Does yours include, like, all of our lands, too, though? No, I don't think so. I think it's all the stuff no. that I have individually. Wow. That we each have individually. Yeah. So it's also good to not take too much land because your population, uh, your max pop gets pretty high and then you can't really take more land, you know? So you, I guess you really just can't expand it too quickly. Like right now, if I hadn't taken any land, I could have used the other CB. I could have used uh, the invasion. One of the strategies for using invasion is to take a lot of land and have your population start increasing a lot yeah. and then give away all that land. So your population will stay at what it was, but your max pop will go down. Yeah. We're going to uh, two. I'd be cool with that. I think right. it would be worth it, especially since it's so slow. Is even if we do desync a little bit, then uh, we we should keep going. We should be going on speed two for at least a little bit until we desync. Yo, Steve, do you want to be an aggressive leader or have or be a flat terrain expert? Uh, I guess aggressive leader. Okay. Because I think I'm be fighting in the mountains more, so flat terrain. Not gonna be. I don't know. I think it. Yeah. I don't know. This is actually a pretty varied area of attack, of uh, combat, you know? Fighting oh, in the mountains is everything. not uncommon for our steps. Eve, I think you're gonna be Bro. fighting mostly in the steps because you were gonna go for Kumani, right? To the west of us, it's mostly step. To the yeah. south, there is more mountains. Which is where he's, which is where he's gonna be. I was gonna go south. Nah, I'm going south. Well, aggressive leader of soul works pretty well over there as well. It's fine. It's not a bad thing. You are less defensive, which isn't great, but I think the the, it balanced have it out. Massive units, so. Yeah, it's we're all about the bows and stuff. Fate smiles upon me. My concubine Gulkikek is pregnant, and my response is okay.
It says that this courtier died of dehydration from diarrhea instead of died attending to to, uh, to chamber business or whatever. Interesting. <laughs> I guess the nomads have a better understanding of diarrhea than everybody else. So let me know when you want to call it, Steve. Okay. Yo. Alright, um, you wanna- you're- you're done for now? Let's finish up his war, at least. Alright. Yeah, this is cool, I'm digging this. We're good for- we'll give- Finish this up. I'm already 85%. Oh, might be a good time to yeah, take advantage of that. Wanna do yeah. that, Steve? Or I'll just do it myself. I'm right there already. Oh, it's over. <laughs> yep, they're my tributary now. Yeah, that means they'll pay you money. Cool story. Pretty cool. All right, we do have a number of ways to expand. And uh, Turkestan at the moment is looking the best for me. So, well, I mean, just like... Don't even... Don't even worry about making your kingdoms contiguous. Just if you want a kingdom, let's say that you do and we'll probably respect it. I'm going for Koton and... I can handle pretty much any- everything in here. Okay. Alright, so, um... Yeah, uh, right now, Steve is the current heir. To oh, really? Come in the cognate because my uncle died. He was 55, died of depression, sad times. I'm the heir? He'll be with the sky god or whatever. Um, or Manichaean, uh, he'll be with Wisdom, or whoever. Alright, so hopefully my my dudes... Yeah, the likelihood of me staying cognizant is pretty slim, it seems. My oldest son is 13. Unless he can accumulate more prestige than Steve before I die. Possible, but not likely. No, I think he just has to be... An adult? I, think he, I don't know. Yeah, I think he has to be an adult. I think the prestige that Steve would have to have to take over it otherwise is overwhelming. Hmm. Possible though, I mean... How much, how much... Yeah, no, no, yeah, it's possible. Steve has 814 prestige. That's more than me, actually. So... Hmm. Just saying, when I was Kazaria, that, that was never something that could have... that would... been a concern. Just as long as I had an heir at the right age, I stayed in control. Okay. So maybe that is a thing. We will see... January 1st... be like two and a half years from now. I mean, being Kagen really doesn't do too much for me. I think it... 
What does it really do for me? I think it allows me to. You can, you can raid. Oh yeah. Anything on any of our borders too. Okay. That's helpful, but not big. It's not like I have a massive advantage over you guys. Oh, I think. Well, no, I can. I can take land that you border. You yeah. can only take land that you border. Yeah. All right, that is kind of big. But at the same time, I'm going to be giving you land. So it's a win-win. As long as whoever's Coggin isn't being dumb and rude. All right. That's, that's part of the fun of being Coggin. Being dumb and rude? Yeah, I guess so. Anything else we wanted to do for now? Uh, I'm thinking. I think I'm liking this more than the Republic. I think it could be a lot of fun. I started in a pretty bad spot, but yeah, this one... oh. I, I picked the guy, so yeah. I can't complain. And uh, Charlemagne is called, he's Carl the Evil. <laughs> because he's proud, apparently? Oh, wow, he's got everything. Maybe really? he'll make the Empire. Yeah, uh, Charlemagne has... Well, I think he needs Italy. He did get Saxony, though. He can make Francia. I... Th I think that requires Italy. Not... No, uh, the HRE requires Italy. Not oh, Francia. okay, okay, that's right. Now we'll see if he keeps it, though. Got two sons. No, no, right now he only has one son that could inherit because. Is one a bastard? Pepin's a bastard. Of course. He's 36, his wife is 23, he could have more kids. Oh! The, uh, the Lombard princess actually died. He didn't divorce her. Interesting. That are, those are some... That are... Those are huge revolts in Lombardia. In Lombardy. Look at that. Yeah, I saw. The opposites are staying together pretty well. Yeah, How long is probably... Sicily normally independent? Sicily? Yeah, Sicily. No. Not. Did they win a, like a, an independence war or something? There's no way. They're not independent, it's a Lombard revolt. Oh, the island. Yeah. Are they independent normally? Iconic. They're iconoclast. Well, I mean... Wait, so is, the so is Byzantium, yeah. That's pretty normal for Byzantium to be iconoclast. I think, yeah, I think they must have. That's weird. I was thinking were declared iconoclast, the iconoclast heresy, uh, declared himself orthodox and restored the ecumenical patriarch, and they rebelled because of it, but doesn't look like that happened. Yeah. Ooh, Avaria's being eaten up. Where's that? Which one? Hungary. Oh, Bulgaria, right, yeah. Oh, Avaria, Avaria, yeah. That is, they're being attacked by... Oh no, it's, it's like a revocation war. Huh. It's kind of weird that the Bavarian king is culturally German. I think that's how he's supposed to be. I know, I mean, it just seems... strange. Like, German shouldn't exist as German for a little while. Yeah. Didn't. It's like he should be... I mean, he's Catholic. And so was his father. And his father was Catholic. As his... Like, the Catholics go back until Garibald I of Bavaria. And he was born in... Well, he died in 540. Wow, okay. And he's still considered German. Wow. 
can't remember what the tribe that was there was, but I saw one guy that was like Almania. Oh, oh yeah, uh, the Almani were there. Yeah, the grandfather of the current king is Dor uh, was Duke Godfrey of Almania. So I guess that would have been a better name for the culture, but I guess since they were the only independent guys, that would be, uh, since Elmani is not a culture, I guess they're yeah. just German. Despite Visigoths, Bombards, Franks, I could go on. They just yeah, decided to stick Alemani with Germany. was the actual culture there. Yeah, that would make sense. Oh. Like, I mean, this e this has a character that goes back to, like, very near... Like, Rome was still around. Barely. Nah, not really. Not really, actually. <laughs> that dude was probably born, like, at the tail end of any sort of proper Rome existing. So Steve, what's the plan? Keep going, we're done. Oh, I think I'm I think I'm good for now. Okay. Go. Sounds good. So yeah, this is cool. I'm looking yeah, forward to you don't feel but, that way. Uh, Yeah, I like the I like the game so far. Yeah. In all, in all honesty, I'm kind of glad you died in the other game, Chris. I, I was, I wasn't really into the republic of doing the republic so much. I don't know. Republics, but I think I, it was more fun. It's more fun being aggressive as a patrician yeah, and having a lot. like two fifths, uh, two fourths of the other patricians being kind of a friendly thing, made it not as interesting to me, I guess. But uh, being friendly as a nomad seems more interesting to me for some reason. Maybe because con uh, continuity of land doesn't matter at all, where oh, the... We definitely have more... Go on. Yeah, I gotcha. Like, a lot of things that I would have wanted to fight over, like, I would want to have total domination of trade posts, but I really couldn't. Because, you know, it's a trade post limit, of course. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. This just seems more interesting to me. Because we actually have places to expand to, probably, is more important. As opposed to just having to wait for the... The... Lord Mayor or Doge wanted to declare war on uh, guys in North Africa, and we couldn't even, and we wanted to be careful about where in North Africa we were to declare war on. Okay, yep. Yeah, so that'll be it for now. Okay. Well, uh, when will you guys? When would you yeah, be good that for? Kind of good too. What was that? Yeah. You kind of gotta speak up in order to be clear. The mic quality is not the hottest. Uh, so yeah, well, when would you be free next, Steve? As while we're discussing this, I'm gonna unpause it so my troops can start making the long walk down to Car Carlokid. Okay. Like, uh, when when are you gonna be good next, Steve? I don't know. Probably pro probably Sunday or. This upcoming uh, Sunday, I'm going to be playing D&D, so that's not going to be good for me. A Monday, Steve. Oh, cool, cool. Well, I can, I can do Monday for sure. All right. Monday around seven. Yeah. All right, sounds good. So just pause it whenever. Yeah, I mean, all right. We'll just yeah, call it here then. Day. All right then. So I'll uh, see you guys. Oh, cool, cool. We'll uh, we'll be up back at this Monday. Okay.
I'll talk to you whenever. Okay, sweet. All right, later, guys. Okay. See you later, man. Yeah. Um. All right. So that'll be that for now. Yeah, we'll be back at this again Monday. It would seem tomorrow. We will. Uh, I'll. I'll get back to. EU4. I really want to keep going as Great Britain. Got a lot going for us right now. Pretty close to being able to integrate France. Probably going to feed a good bit more to Castile. It'll be good. So, if... Uh, who, who's here? Who's actually here? <laughs> yeah. It, it's chill. It's pretty chill. It's like, it doesn't move quickly. We're not hostile to each other. Um... Yeah, it's just chilling with friends playing the game. Got 1,300 hours in the game now. Holy gosh. So, until next time, thank you guys very much for joining me. Rock over London, rock on Chicago. I'm Cyrock Omega, and have a nice day. Later.